Hello guys, what is up? This is XBiscuit HD bringing you a um pretty decent After Effects tutorial right here. Today we're gonna be learning how to make a really nice three D uh kind of reflection on a video or an object. So you just basically want to make a new solid, a new solid layer, uh, a light grey kind of color. Make sure it fits the composition. And then we're just gonna go and make another one, and this one's just gonna be fully white. So just drag that fully white. Okay, so we got our two solid colors here, and this is going to be for the background basically. It's going to be kind of nice uh, color for a reflection. So we're just going to make sure this is on a lips and double click it right here. We're just going to click F on our keyboard after we've done that to bring up the um, feather as shown here, and we're just going to drag it to about 200. Um, I just want to say off the bat that this tutorial requires uh, some kind of Ad well not really advanced but you need to know about After Effects quite a bit this isn't a beginners tutorial is what I'm trying to say I will do uh, tutorials for beginners just uh, message me and uh, put a comment or something like that alright so anyway so we got our backgrounds looking pretty nice there just gonna find a clip alright here we go no but this sounds good it's just a little thing I got uh, earlier PSN down really isn't that great time for me, but you know I'm making these tutorials so it's good. Or right, I'm just gonna show you this clip. So enjoy. <laughs> All right, that was the clip. We're just gonna drag it onto the timeline. Now, uh, what you're going to do, just make sure it's selected in the timeline, and you will be able to drag it about and uh, resize it, as you would a photo on Microsoft Word or something. Make sure it's roughly about uh, this size. This is a good size. Kind of about, I would think about half the video composition size. But you can see. Alright, anyway. So we're just going to hit this little box here, which means makes it 3D. And we're just going to go uh, grab the rotation tool up here. And we can just drag these three uh, points around. Make it 3D. We're just going to take the green one and spin it a bit like this. So it's uh, at a side angle. Then we're just going to drag it drag it around. Get Find a nice place for it. Let's just say the top corner. This is already looking pretty nice. But we're going to make it nicer. Okay. Now we're just going to grab the object right here um hit layer precompose just click okay then left uh, right click on the thing even and just open up the composition via this kind of thing all right it brings up this uh precomposed layer and now you want to go on the settings of the precomposed composition and you make sure this lock aspect ratio is not ticked uh that will mess stuff up and make sure the width is 1280 and the height is 1440 so 1440 I'm just gonna change the background color because I want it white so uh, it's easier to see you can do this as well I, I recommend it alright so now we're just gonna resize this uh, once again you can just drag it to about half the composition we're just gonna drag it up to the top and now we're going to start just, you know, make sure it's fit, fitting in perfectly. You don't want to rush it. But anyway, so now we're going to start making the reflection. So you just want to copy and paste the clip in the timeline. Drag another one down. Make sure it fits. And I'm just going to spend a bit here just making sure it's good. Um, I do commentaries, as a lot of you know. Uh, edits on After Effects, although I prefer editing real life a lot better than uh, editing COD, but you know, I do sometimes. So, but would you like to see more tutorials from me? If, just let me know in a comment, or would you just want to see more commentaries and stuff? I know, I don't know, Wh whatever you guys want, I'm happy to do. So, anyway, you just want to uh, like drag it upside down so it looks like a reflection. Um you can just go here to get the rectangular mask tool and drag it over so you're showing about this much of it this is uh, the reflection basically now we're just gonna hit F 
and do a feather again to make it look real nice like it's uh, coming out of water or something like that. Water. <laughs> okay, that's Australian. Anyways, we're going to go back to the composition. We got this very, very nice reflection looking effect here. Just drag it to the uh, to the left, I think. Yep, to the left, to the left. Oh, I hate that song. I hate mainstream music. <laughs> Shut up, Bessie. Alright, anyways, so we're just going to uh, add some text in the blank space we got here. You can use this kind of uh, thing for a promo, uh, a video intro, uh, an, an intro for your channel, montage, you know, uh, so you, you can put text in as well. You can do all kinds of things. Alright, so we're just going to quickly make some text here. It's quite a like, nice bright background, so we're just going to put some blue, because blue is one of my favorite colors. Make this uh, 3D as well. Get the rotation tool. Maybe have it facing the opposite direction. Looks pretty nice. Size it up and then we render it. So why it's just going to render quickly here. If, as I was saying, I do commentaries and stuff. If you like my column, check out my commentaries initially if you haven't already. Oh, I strongly recommend it got some good gameplay right there some funny commentaries in my tutorials I tend to talk a bit si more serious than I do but in my commentaries I just you know tend to goof around and uh, have a fun time over some nice gameplay so that's all good if you just prefer to watch my uh, tutorials then sure I'll be posting a lot more After Effects ones up soon to help people out with that and uh, I will occasionally put an edit from time to time if I feel like it so subscribe for all that stuff. I've got a video on my channel of me smashing an Xbox 360 for 200 subscribers. Uh, watch that if you dare. But basically the video is going to finish rendering now. I'll just show it to you. I think I saved it to my desktop. Alright, uh, here it is. I'm just going to show it to you. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, open it with QuickTime. Open all your videos on After Effects with QuickTime. It's, it's the best um, codec and video player for it. But anyway guys, I'm Xbiscuit HD. This is the finished product. When really it's closer than it is too far.